Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's episode, you know, it's just going to be a cold, long, rainy, miserable night. You know, kind of put a hamper on my outdoor activities, getting things picked up. Uh, I'm trying to make whip up some more of my air tubes, you know, my uh, Mean Streak air tube, along with my newest, latest air tube, tailored to uh, the visually impaired modder. And I've dubbed it Old Blue Hair, the Old Blue Hair Air Tube. So I wanted to walk you all through the build process of how I go about making these air tubes and what all it entails on getting it to your door. So come on with me and let's just get started. So the first process that I have to go through after measuring and cutting my stocks to length is I have to reduce the outer diameter on these. And to do that, I'm going to be chucking each of these pieces in a drill. And over here, I got my angle grinder set up with a flap wheel upside down. And it makes for a nice tabletop to work off of. You know, I got my trigger wired in to where all I do got to do is plug my battery in. And she's taking off rolling. So let me get the camera set up and you can watch me do this process. Also make a note that each time that I'm making passes with these two pieces, I'm going to be coming over to a bare shot tube and I'm going to keep working it down until it gets a nice snug fit inside of here. Also on top of that, this is one chore that you definitely want your PEP for is there's small metal particles flying through the air and dust and you really don't need to be inhaling that or getting it in your eyes. So get your mask, get you some safety glasses, and let's begin.
For the next step, we're going to be still using our drill. We're going to use it in here just like a chuck, chuck it on in. And the final finish is going to be done with some 320. And here we are with our finished and bare air tube bodies. The, the front is all nice and slim profile, but if you come into the back on each, you may notice that they are slightly higher in outer diameter. I haven't taken and knocked them down, and there's a reason for that, and we'll elaborate more on that here in a minute. Now that the general air tube shaping is done, I'm going to move on to the next step, and that is profiling the air tube tip. There's two benefits to it, and it's one of my revisions and updates to my air tube. And the benefits are, one, it eases the install process, and it also keeps a better seal and fit on to the abutment washer. Two, by doing this, it's going to greatly benefit the air travel that has to reach the BB before so this tip will not impact the BB. What we're going to do is I'm going to profile these tips and then I'm going to paint them over onto a special little hole that I have recessed here. It's a nice dome deep divot so let's go ahead and do that. And here we have our peen tips. The next step was the crimping and I really wanted to take you all with me down to the hydraulic press but there's just no lighting. So I crimped the ends and now after that I mark my spots for the drilling process. With that done, now comes the detailing and profiling of the inlets. With the drilling done, it's time to move on to the profiling and detailing of the inlets. I've already began because this is much easier working with lap work as it is opposed to working on the table. 
to help my profiling along, I'll use a 530 seconds or four millimeter chainsaw file. It does the job just fine. But essentially what I'll do is I'll work it back and forth and I'll follow the groove all the way down and then to finish it up I'll come back to my punch and I'll come back in here to the holes on each side and I'll come up on the edges and I'll push them in and I'll get them rounded out and cleaned up and here's the end product of that well that summed it up for the mean streak brass air tube but what about old blue hair here well, that's one last final step for this one. There we go. Old blue hair finally got all caught up. Now you might be asking yourself, why would you blue your air tube? Well, there's a benefit in that. And it goes to care. Proper maintenance of your daisy. Say you throw this thing in there and later on down the road you want to do an inspection, you know, check things out, you pull it out, say there's a long scratch in there. That might lead you to uh, maybe deburr your uh, shot tube or such, you know. Another thing that I'd like to touch on is up here, you'll remember, we didn't reduce our outer diameter. The reason for that being is, all right, a plunger head assembly on my micrometer measures in at 0.91. Uh, after it's installed into, you know, the mean streak or the old blue hair, it increases it to 0.92. That'll get you just a sliver more com seal compression within your chamber. Another added benefit to the old blue hair here is that it can also be used in your uh, bottle cap daisies, your older ones, you know, the ones that don't have the modern shot tube assembly. The uh, tip is peened on it, so it shouldn't have a problem, you know, getting around the retainer, the BB retainer spring. So that should be a benefit to a whole lot of people out there. There you have it guys. I'm glad I could bring y'all along with me so I could show you, you know, my whole process of uh, what it takes to make these. Um, with that said, you know, I make them in small limited quantities at a time. It takes a little while, you know, doing them back to back to back. Um, just keep an eye on my eBay store. Whenever they're up, they're available. I'm not going to have them up, and then, then then you just not have one. I'm not going to play that game. So if they are up on eBay, the quantities are accurate, and they'll be there. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks, guys.